Hi, it's Coach Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer Program. And today's border what we're looking at is a lead hill pulse coil, A class. The situation is we've been called out to this boiler and they're saying that they're getting no water. There's been blowing fuses every month. We've had a few people out to this unit before us. So we've just arrived and found some shocking news which we're going to show you. The first thing what we found out is when the unit is turned on by these spur switches here, what happens when you turn it on like that, it actually turns it off. So it's wired incorrectly. So the customer has been turning it on thinking it's working, but it goes off. And the other thing we found is the wiring behind this switch is also incorrect, which I'm going to show you. So these GLED hills need to be wired correctly and by competent people. So you know who to call. Just check on the link below and you know where to go. So I'm just going to show you what's going on here now. So we've got our feed, which we're testing. This is your peak, so off peak supply. Yeah. The power's on. Yeah. Now this switch is supposed to be switched off. Yeah. But yet you can see 240 volts. Yeah. So it's not wired correctly because it's not switching off. This is switched off here. But yet we've got power on. You switch a switch the other way. That is switched on. There's no difference. And I'm going to show you why. This is like this, which is quite frightening. Now this is the back of the switch, and this is what's happening. These two wires here at the top, where the screwdriver is, that's the feed coming into this switch, alive and neutral. That brown one there is the supply. That is the supply neutral. But you can see the wide there's another neutral into the same wire and that's not connected this supply is also is not in switching off so when we switch this off on this switch it doesn't kill the supply to the boiler so it's definitely wired incorrectly and this is supposed to be done by electrician or somebody supposed to be competent at doing this job and this is how it's been left by someone else. So we're going to put it correct, correct, and then we'll show the wiring what it's supposed to be like, and you'll see the difference. We're now giving it the final test. It's off. Our switch is off. Let me show you here. That's off. Now I'm going to turn it on. Lights on. Let it click powers on you can see there we've changed the switch put a new switch on because the switch was defective and the wire was incorrect so it's now working as it should so that's going to be the end of this video if you like what you've seen you can subscribe to our channel give us a like if you're an engineer and want to join the Engineer T Network, just click on the link below and be glad to see you. So that's it from me and I'll see you on the next video.